today I decided that I'm going to be making some patchouli soap. I'm real excited about that because patchouli oil, essential oil, is one of my favorite essential oils. I just love it to death. <laughs> but um, I, I was like really debating on what I should make because I bought the patchouli oil to use for my uh, Midsummer's Dream recipe. But as you can see, I still got some in stock and I think I'm gonna wait until I sell more of those before I make another batch. I do cook in small batches, so um, I don't have a big stock. But um, right now business is slow, so it's slow moving. I don't want to have a bunch of uh, too much Midsummer's Dream, so I'm going to make some patchouli soap, and I'm only going to make a five-pound batch of that, so that'll yield about um, 16 bars of soap. Hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm going to start making soap. Okay, so I'm going to be making five pounds. So this recipe will be different than what you will use if you're only making enough for your own personal use. If you're only making some for your own personal use, I would recommend only making like a pound of soap, which will yield you around four bars. First, I'm going to start out by making my lime water. And then while that's getting ready, I'll get all my oils together. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, I have a, a little toddler, so you're going to see her and hear her in the background. But when you're making your blind water solution, Always, always, always add the lye to the water, not the other way around. Always put your lye in your water. It's very important. You don't want to have a bad chemical reaction. The lye water is going to get very, very hot on you. Um, so you have to be careful. And it's better to use a pitcher, like this one I'm using here, to mix your lye. That way it's like down in there really far and you don't have any like accidental splashing while you're stirring it. It's just safer that way. I need, I need to get a more durable plastic than this one because lye is caustic and it eats through um, materials and if you get it on your skin it will burn you and start eating your skin until you uh, flush it out with vinegar or wash it off immediately. It's better to use gloves when you're working with this. I don't have any on at the moment. I probably should get them on. But I just didn't do it yet. So I'm going to rinse that. I'm going to set this off to the side and let that cool down. And while that's cooling off, I'm going to be getting my ingredients. I got the crock pot on, it's warming up right now. I like to uh, soap right next to the sink. It just helps you keep a cleaner workstation. Um, so I need olive oil.
When you're making soap, it's important to use the same, don't use the same crock pot or pot that you cook your food with because the lye and the, and the soap will get into all the pores, um, pores of the crack pot and you don't want to taste soap when you're eating your soup or your stew or whatever you're making. So keep your soaping equipment separate from your cooking equipment. Now I need coconut oil. I used to rinse everything out in between. Through trial and error and some research, it's better to just wipe wipe it out with a paper towel so you're not clogging your drain. Um, I need three ounces of palm oil. Next, we need castor oil. Now I need the sweet almond. Once your lye water is clear, and translucent, so you can see through it, it's ready to add rhyme or reason to this. You don't have to be finicky. Just get it in there and mix it up. Okay, so I'm going to stick blend this. It's
make sure that you stir every crease because sometimes you can get so stuck in there if you don't stir it it'll start to burn It's handmade from scratch. It's so wonderful. I love it. Okay, so now it's ready to add the super fat. Now all the rides been cooked out. Super fats. And you add your super fats at the end so the lye doesn't eat it up and it just adds extra conditioning properties to your soap. Mix it up real good. Let it cook for like another 10, 10 minutes. It 
turn the crock pot down. I could probably turn it off because the soap is so hot. You want to mix it really well to get all those butters and oils in there real good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are back 24 hours later to take this bad boy out of the mold. And um, I'm real excited to show you how it turned out when I cut it into bars. Here I am at the sink, pulling it out of the mold and uh, taking it out of the silicone liner. I'm going to fast forward through this whole process just for time's sake, keep it a shorter video. But yes, I'm really liking how it turned out. It looks really cool and it smells amazing. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I also wanted to let you know that I've been working on making a website. I now have uh, simplesoulorganics.com, as you can see on the screen. And I've been working on building that website for the past, like, three months now. I'm making progress on that. Still got a lot of final tweaking that I need to do. And, um... I'm real happy to say that I got new boxes for all of my soaps. So now I need to update all the pictures I got on the website. So that's going to be another process. Another day or two of work added on to <laughs> everything else. But yeah, I really don't know what else to say. I like how the soap turned out and... Um, I'm liking how the website looks. It looks really awesome. You should go check it out. And while you're there, pick up a soap or two. <laughs> Stay tuned a little later for a uh, testing of the soap. Where you get to see me test it out and show you how it lathers up and produces the real creamy bubbles. Works great. Smells good. Nice lather. Real creamy. Look at that. <laughs> Feels great on your skin. Some all the oils and butters. Very moisturizing. Leave you real clean. Great soap. I give it five stars. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Time for me to get back to work. I got lots of stuff I gotta do. Building that website. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome day.